Hello YouTube and vinyl community, Frank here aka Mr666 Calls, back with my new recent vinyl finds and uh, some f few new CDs. I know it's been a little while, but it's like I've been very busy at work, didn't have much uh, free time, so without fur further ado, like, we're gonna start with actually what you guys are listening to in the background. It's a band, it's their second album called Battles and the album is called A Gloss Drop. It's a double 180 gram vinyl. It's released on Warp Records. This is actually one of my favorite picks from the last few weeks. So this is very, it's very hard to describe what kind of music. It's mostly, uh, uh, all the songs are uh, instrumental except for four of them which they have each uh, each four different songs a different singer you know like a guest artist so uh, actually one features Matthias Aguayo the other one is there's one by Gary Newman and another one by Kazu Makino and the other one is Yamantaka Aya so this is uh, musically it's some um, post rock Matt rock, uh, Afro beats, uh, little touches of jazz, uh, electro. It's so out there. It's very experimental. There, um, it's actually with a next member of uh, the band Helmet from the uh, '90s and 2000s um, band. So this is like pretty out there. If you guys are very open-minded, this is an album for you. It's on Warp Records. This is like pretty cool. And the Montreal band. Careful, some nudity coming up. It's the Handsome Furs, uh, Sound Capital. It's on uh, Sub Pop. Yeah, Sub Pop. And it's an electro rock alternative band you know it's like uh, it's very out there also there's an mp3 card uh, there's a little picture of where they shot the artwork and the inner sleeve is pretty wicked that's the inner sleeve it's on a uh, acetate paper and there's like a nice picture of a forest some lyrics in the background and credits and this is actually one of the best looking vinyls that I've got. It's an orange marble. It's like, it's so beautiful. I know Derek Vaughn is a big fan of orange vinyls. So feast your eyes on this, my friend. If you would like a copy, I'll pick it up. Because I think the color vinyl, it's only limited to Montreal. I'm not sure, but that's what was saying on the, on the uh, sleeve on the little sticker. So it's very limited. And uh, next, my morning jacket, Circuitero, double LP, 180 gram vinyl, beautiful thick cardboard, comes also with an MP3 card, these are some of the inner sleeves, it's like beautiful production and I really enjoyed the album, it's actually my first album by them. So. This sounds great. Now to some classic. Marvin Gaye, let's get it on. Reissue on uh, Tamla Records. Gatefold, 180 gram vinyl. And I know uh, some of you guys showed this on the vinyl community. Funkadelics, Maggot Brain. Single LP 180 gram vinyl on a gatefold, also amazing music. And this is now to a used record. This is a French Canadian Prague. Uh, this is actually one of the used records that I paid the most for because uh, it's pretty hard to get by. And when I saw it, you know, I just had to pick it up. It's called, it's a band called Eclipse. It's a self titled, it's their first album released in 19. 75 so it's pretty out there it's an amazing you know like a, a progressive rock 
with a lot of keyboards. So. Uh, and now on to some of my uh, new CDs of the week. This is a box set of a uh, 3 CD release of Na uh, Napalm Death. They're actually the fathers of Grindcore. This is, uh, the, I think they started in, in the 80s. So this is uh, this includes inside the torn apart words from the exit wound and breathe to breathe. So this is like a three record set, specially priced. This is like some pretty basic CDs. This is like uh, this is grand chord at at its best so and now to some death metal it's an old classic also death human it's the anniversary reissue it's a double cd beautiful production on relapse records and it's um, the second cd has demos outtakes and uh, you know rare tracks so it's a pretty nice sounds amazing the remastering and everything it's like a great pick and the new In Flames, Sounds of a Playground Fading. This actually has the CD, it's a trifold, a little nice booklet, and this is a DVD with a documentary on the re uh, recording of the album, which sounds pretty good. And now, all of you guys know that I, yes, I do smell my records when I open them and boy did I have a surprise when I opened this one this is the new Black Dahlia murder ritual and when I opened the plastic it smelled like weed and so I was okay you know it's like uh, maybe some fumes from last night but you know I went again and took a sniff at it like I'm doing now and it does smell like weed you know so okay, I don't know if you, they did it on purpose or uh, something but it's it's funny I actually made some other people smell it and they say yeah you're right this is some of the artwork on the inside nice little booklet some of the lyrics you know beautiful production and it's a uh, amazing death record it's actually much better than the last one that they released this is pretty out there and now to some of the books that I got this is a used book that I ordered on Amazon for 350 it's a thousand and one albums you should hear before you die so I know they're coming out with a new uh, a print of this you know uh, but I, for 350 you know I just wanted I know some of you guys have it and I couldn't wait to get a copy of them for myself, so I picked this one up. It's an amazing book. And to a magazine, this is Classic Rock, the newest issue. Has a big uh, interview with Iron Maiden, uh, Journey. There's some, uh, you know, it's like glossy paper. You know, it's like it's really amazing. If you like rock, it's one of the best rock magazines out there. And it always comes with a little CD, a 15-track CD. And in this issue, you had a little, a little extra. It's a little magazine on itself with the making of 10, the Pearl Jam album that everybody knows. It's a nice little booklet with new interviews and uh, stuff. So it's pretty cool, you know, a nice little bonus, you know, with the magazine. And this is a little fanzine. This is the third issue that came uh, with an album that I ordered from Light in the Attic. It's called Light in the Attic, Zine Issue 3. So it's like really interesting, you know, some interviews with uh, some of their artists and like on future releases. So it's a pretty nice cool magazine and it comes free when you order a record. So guys, I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna do a second part to this. Uh, with my used records because I got a big score and uh, it's gonna be done in two parts because I did a video uh, for that yesterday but it was r running over 20 minutes so YouTube then uploaded it so so this is gonna be my shortcut and it's gonna be done in two parts and I'll see you soon keep the vinyl spinning and rock on take care guys